Yes, this did really happen. The police confused me for an Afghan and was about to take me away. Yeah, let's just say there's definitely such a thing as blending in too well. But before we get to that, let me just go back to the beginning of the story. Assalamu alaikum, namaskar. I just came back a few days ago from an amazing trip to Balochistan and where I experienced all the hospitality, I made some great friends and I just had a good time. If you guys are interested, let me know and I'll post an update about my Balochistan trip. It was really not what I expected. In all the good sense of the word. My friend, you are into PUBG, right? Yeah. What well, this actually says PUBG. Are oh, we gonna play kite on the roof? The problems actually came when I came back. Well, not through Balochistan. I took a night bus from Puerta all the way through Khodzar crossing to Karachi. So this is the bus that I'll be going on. It's a sleeper bus, which means that I have kind of like my own. I think this guy is saying that the bus should go back. And that was all fine. I was just sleeping all of the time. It was quite comfortable. <laughs> I arrived all safe in Karachi and this is my bus driver. Are you Baloch or Pakhtun? Yeah, Baloch, Baloch. Are you Baloch? Hola, Pakhtun. Baloch. Yeah, no, it's Pakhtun, no? Baloch, Baloch. Baloch? Yes. Okay, Afghan Afghan? Abdul Rashid. Akhil. Okay, nice to meet you. Smith Karachi, yes, yeah? Sir. But then when we arrived to the bigger Karachi metropolitan area, there was first a problem that the road was open. And creative as I am, I mean, there was an option to take a really expensive taxi. I like to travel as a budget traveler. So I opted to go on side one of these Diwali buses, as I call them. You might have seen them. If not, this is what they look like. I think they bring like a lot of ambience. And it would make me very happy. But as you can imagine, with the road being open, the bus was full, so I had to sit on top of it. When this is all your ass for when you're traveling, <laughs> going on a dust road. It's <laughs> pretty wobbly, I would say. <laughs> The bad side of this though was that we had to go all the way to kind of like the countryside of Karachi. Honestly, it took almost two hours extra in a road that would normally be only 20 minutes to cross. So we're making our way back into urbanized Karachi and everything is going fine. And I think this is also a good point to explain my looks. Now, you can see it in the video. I always try to dress like local attire. I do feel in the world so many people like to always dress western clothes and I like the diversity. So I like dressing into local attire and because I have like a Desi Indian, let's say Pakistani background, I even like it more. I really like Sarbal Kameez, I like our own clothes and I really wish that more people would wear it. But why is that interesting for this story? Well, for the reason that I really blend in. Okay, well I'm Ruben, I am originally from the Netherlands. My mother was born in Haridwar, Uttarakhand, in India. Oh! And, uh, <laughs> my nanny is actually from Sargoda. From day one that I arrived in Pakistan, people have been telling me that I look like a Pathan. Uh, like hence a the Pathan look. from Afghanistan. I know. I hear it at least five times a day. <laughs> or Pakhtun, Pashtun. All of this means the same in different languages. The biggest ethnic group from Afghanistan, the Pashtuns, who speak Pashto. Basically, I'm going to visit Afghanistan after uh, Pakistan, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested to see more updates about that. So here's what happened as we were driving back into Karachi. So here you can see me kind of purposely filming in a way that the police can't see it. So apologies for the shaky lens and camera. Some would say it's allowed to film, but depending on who you encounter, let's say maybe they don't have the best day of their life, so it's better to have some caution. So they picked up two, three guys. And they really started to question them, like, who are you, just looking at all their stuff. It was quite intense, actually. And then the police guy looked at me. 
Yeah, it was time for me to get off the bus. The guy didn't believe me. They told me that I was traveling on a fake password. So uh, I just said this whole thing, this uh, police guys, they were checking me. They didn't believe that I was not Afghani. So they were like, why do you have this passport? Afghani. I'm happy I took my head off, but uh, he was like, how did you get this passport? And Honestly, it took me about 50 minutes to convince them that I'm actually just a tourist. So hello from Balochistan again. I want to give a little bit of perspective to the story. First of all, that police officer, no hate to him. He's just doing his work, but he wasn't buying it. If the other people wouldn't have convinced him that I was a vlogger or that at least I wasn't a Pakistani, he probably would have taken me to the office to kind of see what's really going on. The second thing that I want to talk about is the way that I travel. The way that I travel is not the one that is described on the internet. You know, many times I just have to figure things out and sometimes things does happen. Nothing too scary, but it just means that the way that I'm traveling is a little bit unconventional. Many people come to Pakistan and most of them will not go further than Lahore, Islamabad and Gilgit Baltistan. And those are beautiful places and nothing wrong with that. But I want to go a little bit further and explore the places that people don't talk about. So in my upcoming vlogs, you're going to see me traveling from Karachi to Chitral, from Khatarpur to Quetta and everything in between. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep my adventure attitude and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. So my favorite country in the world has to be Pakistan. Ooh,